I was starting at four. My brother was five and a half years older than me, and he started in lacrosse. So I, I think just seeing his commitment and his uh, determination and, and obviously his skill, it was huge for me to see that success, and, and I wanted to kind of do the same thing. Being inducted into a Hall of Fame is nothing new for Pat O'Toole. The former lacrosse goalkeeper walked into his first hall in 2012 when he was inducted by the Rochester Nighthawks and in 2013 came his crowning moment when the National Lacrosse League opened its doors to him. In 2021, O'Toole was selected to be inducted into the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame. The streak continued in 2022 when the city that O'Toole has been a resident of since 1998 welcomed him into the Brampton Sports Hall of Fame. He was honoured for his accomplishments as a player and coach at both box and field lacrosse at the minor, major and international levels. The 51-year-old O'Toole, a former president of the Brampton Minor Lacrosse Association, is generally credited for the revival of the sport in this city and making it a major force in lacrosse circles in Ontario. I've also been president of Brampton Minor Lacrosse, so that, you know, those are the kids, those are the, the future of our sport, and I've just stayed, uh, stayed involved that way and, you know, tried to pass on my passion and my knowledge for the game, and it's worked out pretty good so far. I brought a group of kids my son's age up through the ranks, and now they're getting into the junior age, so it's a lot of fun to see them develop and get better too. He will always be remembered for helping numerous kids get involved, even when they couldn't afford the fees. He's also helped Indigenous communities in remote areas of the province to get involved in the sport by donating used equipment to them. O'Toole played for the Brampton Major Excelsiors in 1998 and 2000 and reached the pinnacle of Canadian lacrosse, winning the Man Cup in 1998. In the Man Cup Championship Series, O'Toole was recognized with the Mike Kelly Award, symbolic of the Man Cup Series' most valuable player. O'Toole won the Man Cup in 2004, 2006, and 2007 as a player, and in 2011, back in Brampton as a coach with the Excelsiors. O'Toole played 12 of his 16 seasons with the Nighthawks, and he was the lone member of the class of 2013 to get into the hall. To be the lone guy going in is a shocking and a tremendous honour, said O'Toole at the time. Just to be recognised is unbelievable and something to be proud of. O'Toole is still active as an assistant coach of the Nighthawks. I continue my passion in the sport with coaching. The day I was done playing in, in the NLL and in the sum, summertime, uh, I was coaching a team. And, uh, you know, I finished when I was thir 39 years old and 12 years later I'm still coaching. I'm coaching in the NLL, I coach in Ontario, I've coached at every level. O'Toole won two National Lacrosse League titles his first with the Buffalo Bandits in 1996, and second with Rochester in 2007. He's Rochester's all-time leader in wins with 102, and saves with 5,756, and had a career save percentage of 768. O'Toole retired in 2010 as the all-time leader in the NLL in regular season saves at 6,464, subsequently topped by Bob Watson in 2011, and playoff saves at 802. He won the Goaltender of the Year Award in 2003 while playing with Rochester, where he spent 12 of his 16 seasons. Despite his heroics and goal, O'Toole also contributed at the other end with three goals and 136 assists that still stand as a league record for goalies.